You see what happened when you start minding your business and drinking water and working out? Your hair started to grow back. You know what I'm saying? You see, you see, Steph got hang time now. You know? You see that? You see that? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Today, I'm just going to do a little bit of a hair talk because I, I kind of throw the little hair talks in there bit by bit, not too much because I don't want to focus on hair because that's not what I do. I just want to kind of update you guys on what I do with my hair because if you're new here, my channel typically grew off of me doing wig reviews braids and stuff like that uh, but by heart I'm a makeup artist I'm a professional makeup artist I am an entrepreneur makeup artist travel makeup artist I have my own studio stuff of that nature I'm not a hairstylist or a cosmetologist okay now that we got all of that out of the way so I'm gonna tell you guys like my updated hair routine or like what I do to my hair and how I got my hair to grow so fast so forth and so on so if you guys have been following me for a while you know there was a period of time where I was having issues with my scalp and I ended up having a buzz cut um, by choice not because I had to um, and then I went through this phase where I just kept cutting my hair off as you guys no, I never gave my hair the opportunity to grow. The longest I did let it grow was into a pixie cut and then I wanted my hair to grow to what it used to be because I got tired of the um, shaving the hair off, going into a pixie cut, letting it grow a little bit out and then going into um, that in-between stage where I hated it and then I ended up back in the cycle of shaving it off. And I no longer wanted to do that. So what I honestly did was I did start doing the deep conditioners. And then also I just went back to products that I knew worked for me. Such as like products that I used when I was relaxed. Because I never had a growth problem when I was relaxed. It seemed like when I was natural I was always in that stunted growth phase. Or that I'm natural. I've always been in that stunted growth phase face because I'm still natural um, so what I did was I stopped using all of the natural products that everybody was recommending because they weren't honestly they weren't working for me they weren't working for me they weren't working for my hair no matter what I did my hair still felt dry um, only time my hair really felt nice was when I would put a lot of products in my hair or when I went to salon and have it done um, in a straight style. Um, I'm, I've probably said this on my channel but although I am natural I love a sleek style. I love a more put together style and personally for me um, wearing I'm gonna be careful of how I say this because I know some of you guys are gonna take this in the wrong way for me and my taste and my liking, um, wearing an afro is not, um, I don't want to say professional, um, it's not a, it's not a sleek style or a tame style like I, what I, that I would prefer. Let's just say that. So if I was wearing my hair in its natural state, I would opt to pull it back in a ponytail or slick it back or something like that. That's just me and that's just my opinion. If you feel otherwise and you don't agree, I mean, feel free to unfollow, um, leave your comment down below, whatever you feel like doing, that's fine. But that's just my opinion and for my taste. And I'm not saying that I don't feel comfortable with my natural hair because I do, but I don't feel put together wearing um, my natural hair. I don't feel like it suits me. I don't feel put together like that. I like a more sleek style. I've always had a sleek style until it became natural, but I would always try to wear styles that were more on the sleek side, if that makes sense. So um, I digress from that because I don't want to uh, make that a thing and talk about that. That's just my personal preference and my opinion. So I stopped using the natural hair products because they, like I said, they weren't working for me. And I went back to products that I knew 
um, aid it in hair growth for me, such as using Aussie products, such as using Pantene Pro V, such as using Joico's prior hair products. Those are just hair products that work for my hair. And like a lot of hair products that I do purchase, like um, some girls would say, oh, well, that's not, they'll ask me, like, well, what do you use on your hair? And I would show them, and they're like, well, that's not for our hair. And it's like, hair is hair. What do you mean not for our hair? Because although I have actual textured hair, my hair strands are very fine. So if your hair strands are thicker, what works for me may not work for you, and what works for you may not work for me. So with me having fine strands, and the way I found out that I had fine strands is because when I did go to the dermatologist, and um, they, they did tell me, oh, your hair strands are a lot finer than usual. And I touched on that a little bit about, about that in a previous video. I'll link that right here if you guys want to see that. So after they said that, I was like, okay, well, maybe that's why the Afro or the ethnic hair products aren't working for my hair. And lo and behold, I went back to the products that I used to use um, on my relaxed hair and my hair started growing like like crazy and um, so yeah that's what I did I just made sure I um, started doing deep conditioners at, uh, more often I got into a routine of how I wash my hair like I'm the type of person I can technically wash my hair every couple of days and I'll be fine um, but I went into the routine of washing my hair every week I don't keep my hair open my hair is typically in like a low ponytail or something like that or it's out and when I come home I just wrap it up and I put a scarf or something like that on it I don't keep my hair out I'm not always in my hair playing with my hair combing my hair or anything like that my routine literally is every week I wash it and I blow I do blow dry it I blow dry it um and then I straighten it out and then I wrap it up and that's it even like if I when I go to my client I have a client that I go to the first thing in the morning when I go to her if you guys watch her videos um, you probably have seen me in the background I, I have I always have my hair in a ponytail I either have a cap on or I have on a bonnet to be honest um, because uh, she does smoke and I don't want smoke to get in my hair um, and then I, have, I don't I don't smoke no one in my house smokes so that would just annoy me but if I need to wash my hair or if I've been putting product at the front of my hair and I need like to get rid of that grease residue I love dry shampoo I've been using dry shampoo for years like before I even had my kids like I was on the dry shampoo game like I knew about that um, so that's how I would kind of keep my hair fresh and clean um, throughout the week but I do wash my hair every week um, I do blow dry it I do flat iron it I wrap it up and then that's just my routine the thing with hair is you have to train your hair you have to get your hair into a routine so if you wash your hair every week you need to wash your hair every week whether you're going to the hairstylist or you're doing it at home and you need to find products that works for your hair like don't fall into the gimmick of oh well you're natural you need to use these natural hair products no you need to use the products that works best for your hair and um, I'm a firm believer and you get what you pay for so if you're gonna go and purchase the what's it called the rain and something shampoo and conditioner for, from the dollar store like that may not be the best products for your hair like I know in a natural community they say oh let's just use this and it's good for your hair but what you don't realize is um, your hair might be healthy to a certain point and then all of a sudden you might just start having breakage because you're doing co-washes or you're like putting conditioner in your hair all the time every day every time you do a ponytail but what you don't realize is that there's a thing called moisture overload so when you start overloading your hair with moisture like that's not a good thing like i know like in a national community it's like oh well, moisture 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 but that that's not a good thing all the time especially if you're doing it every day there's no need for you to put conditioner in your hair every single day like and for me like my hair loves protein so one of my favorite lines is a joco keratin um the keratin shampoo and conditioner i love that one right now i'm using the joco moisture recovery in the blue bottle so when i'm done with the blue bottle and then i go back and i buy the gold bottle and when i'm done with the gold bottle i go back and i buy the blue bottle i also love um 
Biolage, Matrix, Matrix Biolage Shampoo and Conditioner, the moisture one. I love that one. And these are just products that um, works well for my hair. And they are on the higher end salon, the salon um, price range. But I get my Jogos from TJ Maxx. And like my Joko, I pay $7.99 for the shampoo and the conditioner. So for some people that might be pricey, but $7.99 for such a good product, to me that's that's well worth it because you're 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 using it once a week. Like you're getting your money's worth out of the product. So that's one of the products that I love to use as far as shampoo and conditioner. As far as heat protectant, I went back to using the Tresemme um, heat protector that works very well for my hair. Um, I also went back to using um, what is it? It's the serum, and it's clear. Oh my gosh, what is it? What serum is it? Biosilk serum. I love that. If if you don't like that one, try the Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum. Those two are my all-time favorite, but I was able to get the Biosilk. I think I got it at TJ Maxx or some. I was able to get it like pretty cheap. Like sometimes you can find the three pack of the BioSilk with the shampoo conditioner and the BioSilk heat therapy in it for like 20 bucks. Like that's a really good price for that because it's much pricier than that. Um, so I get um, BioSilk, I get Thermosilk, um, and I get the Joico or the Matrix Biolage um, shampoo conditioner. And Mainly those are the products that I use. I also love Garnier Fruit Teas. I know a lot of black people say like, oh, they don't like Garnier Fruit Teas and they don't like Pantene Pro-V, but it, because it makes their, your hair fall. Like I've never had that experience. I've used Garnier Fruit Teas for a long time. Like before I had my kids and my oldest is 10 years old. Like I've never had a problem with Garnier Fruit Teas. I love their serum. I love their, I think it's called the Moroccan Oil Serum or something like that. I love those products. I love the um, the shampoo and conditioner. Um, I just love the way they smell. Uh, what else? The Pantene Pro-V. Pantene Pro-V has this um, this hair treatment and this isn't like this isn't from the relaxed line this is just from their regular line so and then I, those are like a handful of products that I use and that I enjoy and I like and that I have went back to using um, to get my hair to grow to the length that it is and I think I've had pretty good um, growth compared to the last time I showed you guys I think the last time I showed you guys my hair was probably like right here or something like that um and that wasn't too long ago so my hair has been growing pretty good um but like I said I don't do a whole bunch of foolishness to my hair I don't touch my hair I'm not always in my hair my hair is either in a ponytail or it's wrapped up that's just it um and I I'm a firm believer in that like the one thing I do need to um get on and I know this is my trims like I really do need to get on to my trims um, what I what I don't like is my hair naturally grows in layers so when I go to get a trim like that's one of the first things I tell people like or the hairstylist hey my hair grows in layers I don't like my hair growing in layers because it gives me too much volume I don't want to have all that volume I want my hair to be more sleek like it's one length I don't want to see a whole bunch of different layers in it and they would be like, oh, okay. And then when I leave and I go to do my hair, my hair is in layers. Like, you can tell, like, my hair is in layers. That's just how it grows. But um, the last lady I go to, I went to, she's phenomenal. She also has a suite in um, uh, where my suite, my makeup studio is. And I told her exactly what I wanted, and she gave me exactly what I needed. And my hair has, like, before, like, you would, you would have been able to see, like, all of the layers in my hair. Like, usually my hair doesn't, isn't like this, but it's more like you can see, like, the different layers. But now it's, like, really smooth. Um, but I need to go and make sure that I'm getting my 8 to 10 week trim. I know that I'm pretty bad about that um, because and the reason is because when I find somebody that I like to cut or trim my hair like I want to stick with that person and usually her and I like are like when I'm coming in she's leaving or when I'm there she's not there and vice versa I just need to make an appointment with her 
and just have like a set appointment with her so I can get my hair trimmed. And yeah, that's what I've been doing. I've been drinking a lot of water. I've also been consuming a lot of protein because um, I'm trying to build muscle and tone. And like I said, my hair loves protein, so I've been uh, doing that. Um, drinking a lot of water, consuming a lot of protein. Um, and just, I mean, I, I never ate bad anyway, but like eating right and stuff like that. So make sure you're drinking a lot of water. If your hair loves protein, try consuming protein. Um, even if you can do like the vegan protein or like eat avocados and stuff like that, just find ways to incorporate more protein into your diet. Moisturize your hair. Don't do too much moisture overload. Like I like to um, use the coconut oil. I get it from Walmart and it's the unrefined coconut oil. Like before, like I thought like I was allergic to coconut oil because whenever I would put it in my hair or like it get on my face or anything, I would break out, but I was using the wrong type of coconut oil. I was using the refined coconut oil. And apparently you shouldn't put that on your skin or anything like that. And I found that out from the dermatologist as well. So um, I'll like put a little bit in my hand. I'll just put it on my ends and stuff like that. And yeah, like that's just it. I've just been doing simple things, going back to the basics and not falling into all of these gimmicky, um, advertisements of what you shouldn't use because this is what your ethnic background is or this is what type of hair you have then this is going to work for you i'm trying not to be into that mold and just go back to what i know is true for me and what works for me and so if you're having the same issues that i have where you weren't uh, where your hair wasn't growing or you weren't retaining length then try to switch it up and then think back to what you were doing before that actually did work for you um, and just go back to that. Even if you're the type of person that wears your hair in its natural state, that's fine. Um, because those products may still work for your natural hair. I mean, the structure of your hair, I mean, your hair hasn't changed. Only thing that changed was the fact that you probably don't wear your hair straight anymore. Um, but yeah, for me, like, I know, like, when my hair is in its natural state, I do not have the capabilities of... Uh, making sure my hair is moisturized. I can handle my hair better when it is straightened out So that's what works for me and that's what works for my lifestyle and that's what I choose to do Straighten my hair out because I know I can take care of it a lot better And that's it guys. It's pretty simple. Just go back to what you were doing Don't get caught up in the hype of doing this that and the other because you're black or you have afro hair or whatever Do what works for you because what's you know what's good for the goose ain't always good for the gander so do your own thing just do you that's what i do i don't fall for all of that craziness anymore um yeah definitely in the beginning i did but then when i thought about it i'm like well shit i'm doing all of this and i freaking you know i don't like my hair like this and my hair is not growing and it's supposed to be healthy for my hair but i'm not getting any length like to me it was becoming a pointless cycle so I went back to what I knew and I started straightening my hair and that's just what's working for me. Well, I'm going to sum this up and if you guys like the little chit chats, give this a thumbs up. Leave any comments down below. If you have something to say about anything that I said, if you agree, if you disagree, leave them down below. Um, all comments are welcome. Just be mindful to be respectful because I will block you. I will. And... Um, yeah, don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell that way you are updated whenever I upload and I'll see you guys next time.